Intel factories make some of the most complex devices in the world, computer chips. But there's probably one area of a factory you don't know much about. Come with me behind this door and I'll show you. This is it, the subfab. It's one level below the factory floor. It's a complex but orderly web of pumps, transformers, power cabinets, conduit cables, scrubbers, chillers, treatment systems, and more. All this to support some 1,200 chip making tools in the clean room directly above. Large pipes called laterals carry gases, liquids, waste, and exhaust to and from production tools. The subfab is the underbelly, the magic beneath the hood, the roots giving life to the tree above. We're walking through Oregon's D1X factory subfab. Most Intel fabs are made up of four levels. Here in D1X, the subfab sits below three factory modules, each about 226,000 square feet. That's equivalent to nearly 11 U.S. football fields. Every fab at Intel has a subfab, but Oregon's subfabs are especially complex due to the combination of high volume manufacturing and R&D performed here simultaneously. Not too long ago, in another Behind This Door video, we showed you Intel's EUV, or Extreme Ultraviolet, lithography system. These tools are used to make the billions of transistors on a microprocessor even tinier so we can pack more onto a chip. Because this tool is so large, it needs three floors in the fab. And to link them, it takes 700 connection points. Here in the subfab, this is the CO2 drive laser for the EUV source above. The laser is about 15 times more powerful than ones used to cut steel. Taking a quick detour, we'll go one floor below the subfab to what's called the utility room. This massive cluster of vacuum pumps and abatement systems is the rest of the EUV tool. Okay, so I'm back in the subfab. I'm standing in an air shaft zone. These zones lie on the perimeter of the subfab. Recirculating air handlers constantly clean and circulate air through the factory's clean room floor into the subfab, then back up through air return shafts to air handlers up on the level above the clean room. Filters in the recirculating air handlers remove particles and other airborne contaminants from the clean room to avoid any contamination of exposed wafers. The subfab and each Intel factory are hosts to a variety of scrubbers, abatement tools, and waste treatment systems. They are the result of years of innovation by Intel and its supply chain partners and part of Intel's efforts to advance its long-standing commitment to sustainability. Hope you enjoyed coming behind the store with us. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob Kelton. Thank you.